hello in this tutorial we will develop vba code that will check presence of a sheet with a specific name in entire workbook so we can see here that in this file i have multiple sheets and i have one master file sheet where i have a command button and if i type any name in cell c2 let me type a name let's say three times a triple a now once i type name so what i want when i click this command button then there is some vba code that i have written in the back end of this command button that will check if in this entire workbook or in this file if we have this sheet or i would say any sheet with the name as triple a then it will write a status of availability in cell c3 so let me press this button and we can see that the status for availability is coming as available and we can see that sheet with the name three times a is available so let me go to the first sheet now if i write any other name let's write x y z and let me press this command button we can see that the status of sheet with the name x y z is showing as not available that means we do not have any sheet with the name x y z in this excel file so sometimes we are in the need of doing some automation of any report then we require such vba code that should check existence of a specific sheet in entire workbook so here in this tutorial we will see how we can develop that vba code step by step so first of all what i'll do i'll right click on master file sheet and once i right click i will select option as move or copy create a copy and in this drop down i'll select new workbook so this sheet with the name of master file will be there with a new excel file having only one sheet let me delete values from c2 and c3 and let me close the previous file let me click don't save now we have command button we have only one sheet that is named with master file so let me add few more sheets for that i'll press this plus sign there are some other ways also to add multiple sheets and let me rename these sheets so first sheet i'll give name as a on another sheet i'll give name as b and on last sheet that i have added i'll give name as c i'll go back to master file sheet and then i'll click on developer tab so that i can find this design mode and when i click this design mode then i'll double click on this command button and we can see that code is also copied from previous file so i'll delete this code and explain which vba code will work for our task so as a first line of code i will check that how many total sheets are there in this excel file or excel workbook so let me write a variable name total sheets equal to this workbook dot worksheets 
dot count so what this code will do this will check how many total sheets are there in this file or in present file and that number will be stored in this variable so for understanding let me write in command to check the count of total sheets so this is comment i have put comma in front of the first letter so this will not be executed only this code will be executed now once we know that how many sheets are there then next step or next vba code is we will store cell value so i would say we will be writing sheet name in c2 so we need to store value of c2 in a variable for that i will take a variable let's give name as check sheet equal to this workbook dot worksheets and sheet name we know that it is master file so that sheet name i'll mention here dot cells and here we can see that c2 that means row number 2 and column number 3 so here i'll mention 2 comma 3 dot value so what this code will do it will take value from c2 and store in a variable named check sheet now what i'll do i'll run a loop or i'll use a for loop that will execute from 1 to total number of sheets and in between that for loop i'll put some vba code to check if any name that we have given in c2 is available in entire workbook so let's write the code for i equal to 1 to total sheets and next in between these two lines i'll write if this workbook dot worksheets here the variable that i have used in for loop that is i dot name equal to check sheet then let me press enter it will do the formatting automatically then what should happen let me minimize and show you then i want a status to be available in c3 so code for that is this workbook dot worksheets then master file that is the sheet name dot activate then this workbook dot worksheets and master file dot cells so c3 is row number 3 column 3 dot value value i want to give if sheet name is matching with the cell value available once this sheet is found then what i want exit sub 
so what will happen once name we have taken from cell is found as a sheet name code will stop here or else this workbook dot worksheets sheet name master file dot cells the same cell I want status dot value so I want status as not available so this is the code that will work for this requirement now I can close the if statement with the keyword as and if so there is a space between and and if so let's check if this if this VBA code is working so we know that we have three sheets with the name as a b and c so if I write here a and then this command button is in design mode so I'll press design mode one time so that I can come out of this design mode and now if I press this command button it will check or it will execute the code we can see that code is working perfectly and a status for sheet name A is showing as available so let me write some other name let's say ABC and now if I press this command button status is not available so let's see the code again so this is how we can design our VBA code for different requirement thanks for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe to my channel for more learning tutorial thank you